Yes, finally, Toyota has a proper hardcore hot hatch on the market. It's called the GR Yaris. And although it probably should have been based on a Corolla to help it compete with the more popular hot hatches in that slightly larger segment, the GR Yaris is the most powerful and quickest car in its class. This goes up against the likes of the Ford Fiesta ST, upcoming Hyundai i20N and the VW Polo GTI. Unlike any of them, this is all-wheel drive. You'd have to agree, it does look pretty awesome. Well, unfortunately, we can't show you the best representation of the car, because not even an hour after we picked this example up, another motorist accidentally banged into the back of us in traffic, leaving a couple of dents in the rear bumper bar. Besides that though, it looks super aggressive at the front and really fat at the back, with bulging wheel arches helping it connect with its WRC rally car roots. Underneath, you'll find the TNGA platform. However, it uses the front end of the regular Yaris and the rear end of the Corolla, complete with multi-link rear suspension to support the rear portion of the driveline. As standard, the GR Yaris comes with 18-inch cast alloy wheels by Ankai, wrapped in Dunlop SP Sport Max tires. These don't seem like the best choice in our opinion, particularly in the area of braking performance. Inside, front passengers are cradled in special GR Sport seats that offer heating functions as standard. While there is a decent amount of headroom and legroom in the front, the cabin orientation is quite tall and upright, rather than low and hunkered down. It is very practical though, with lots of storage pockets and shelves to store your things. Rear seat space is okay, considering this is the compact car class. Headroom is probably going to be the main concern for most, but with only two seats in the back, an easy fix is to just lean in towards the middle. As for boot space, it is fairly disappointing. With only 141 litres on offer, there's really not much you can do with this space, except stash your racing suit and helmet, of course. Like a racing car, the battery is located in the boot, under the floor in this case. Power comes from a 1.6 litre turbo three-cylinder. It is the most powerful production three-cylinder engine in the world. Although 200 kilowatts is hugely impressive, it's the 370 newton meters of torque that really surprises you. It sounds very exciting from in the cabin as well, but to be honest, we were expecting a bit more bark from the exhaust. As usual, we ran a heap of different test runs with this to find the quickest time, trying out all of the different driving modes. This is what it goes like. 